All right, here we are. It's kind of funny that I'm playing so many DS games right now, but I mean two, but that's literally all the games I'm playing. And both pretty long ones. I usually don't play a lot of DS stuff because in part it's kind of inconvenient. <laughs> it takes extra setup like these backgrounds, but anyways. All right, today's a slightly weirder setup. Uh, I, it's a hard time seeing the screen, but we're gonna try to make it work. Uh, okay, didn't realize this would be such a problem. Anyways. Why is brown spelled normal? I feel like it should be spelled weird. Hmm. Eh? Yeah, I was really gonna say there was a submarine. <laughs> Put words in my mouth. Took the words from my mouth, more like, there was a submarine. I mean, I, I more colored it in. No. <laughs> Just walks away. I like how the protagonist apparently just finds Joey annoying or something. Okay, I'll acknowledge your existence, Joey. Alright. Yeah, this might, uh... <laughs> That'd be a problem. <laughs> I might have to <laughs> figure out a new arrangement here because, like, I, I literally cannot. I have to move off to the side to see the screen. This is silly. I was using a similar setup for recording Solar to Robo earlier, but it was not uh, giving me so many issues. Do I have to be close to you to also tap on you? Okay, you got the same di dialogue as before. Okay, I can press A. I tried to speak A. I tried to speak with Joey by pressing A. It didn't seem to quite work. Anyways. Hero. How do you have such a different accent? Did you come from somewhere else? Like, we live in the same town, dude. Hey. Oh, jeez. Do I know many signs off the top of my head? Okay, I don't, apparently don't have much much option here. I have one really stupid idea. I might share the ideas later, but I don't think I could actually draw it, so I'm not going to use it. Um, uh, do I have an idea for a sun or other celestial object? I have an idea for a not sun. Uh... Will we ever see the sun anywhere? I think we might. I'm trying to think. Is there any like game I've seen with an interesting stylized sun in it? Uh, maybe. One second. One second. Let me... Give me a minute. Okay, this took me way too long to find. So apologies that my reference for this isn't the best. But... Let me move this around for a second here. Okay. The sun. Yes, as we said. So, let's start with... Yeah, we're gonna want these three shades of colors, essentially. So let's start with these. Unfortunately, you're all... I wish they didn't um, give you such strong... I, I understand giving you direction by giving you lines to draw within, but I also wish they let you draw outside the lines, like, in a literal sense. It's a little limiting, because I can't quite do exactly what I want to do here. Because of this, but oh well. So, let's start with this then. And... From here, I actually have a couple options. I mean, I don't want the pure yellow. I should have something between the straight yellow and this. I meant for the straight yellow. I think so. Okay. This is one of those things we're going to see a decent amount of, so it makes some amount of sense to spend a decent amount of time on, I think. Alright. The fun part is going to be... I'm going to draw kind of a border around here. 
might make sense just to kind of trace the exterior like this. No, it's not exactly perfect this way either. In terms of being consistent, in terms of thickness. And I moved my microphone around a little bit to make myself more capable of seeing things, but it also makes it harder to do other certain important things, like actually touching stuff on the screen. So we'll see if I can make that work. Yeah, see, look how uneven this is. It's wretched. It's really, really difficult to make this even. Oh, jeez. So we're going to have to go kind of approximate here, but... I'll fix any especially egregious issues afterwards, but... No one's complained yet about me taking too long to draw something or another, though, so... I guess we're okay on that front. Oh. Yeah, see... This is... There's some parts where I don't see how in the world I was actually... It's still clearly thicker on one side than the other, which is gonna bug me so much. How was it? Was that even more thick than before? Maybe not. Okay. I don't want to spend it forever on just this one little thing, but I also want it to not look too ridiculous. So it's it's rough. I also just want to be consistent across the two sides. Like humans are really good at noticing asymmetry. So I need to at least get that part right. That's not terrible. I can live with that. Okay, um, I'm wondering, maybe this color would work better? Yeah. Okay. And then from here... This is gonna be difficult to, to get centered. Anything circular is really, really tough, so... This is going to be super approximate here. It's also really difficult in this position to draw a decent circle. But, um, let's try to make kind of small, actually. The hardest part is just going to get a little bit centered to start with. I also want to make this fairly small, actually. Uh, that's probably a decent start. See if we can round that out a little bit. Kind of like that. Come on. Yeah, I can live with that. Okay, and I think I actually want this section to be a kind of an in-between color, maybe. I'll have to... I'll have to make some compromises here, including um, not making this pattern as complicated as it would be otherwise. In part because I can't see the darn thing in the reference because the video quality isn't high enough for you to actually make out these details, but also because it'll take forever to make this look good. Oop. But, um, unfortunately, I really can't make out what that's supposed to look like. Oh, jeez. Game. 
I have multiple steps of undo here. Okay. I'll try something kind of like this. Let's just start with diamonds in the kernel directions. Very approximate diamonds. Very approximate diamonds to use. Hopefully, roughly, again, symmetry is the worst part here. Roughly symmetrical diamonds, ideally. Also, let's block this. Uh, well, no, we don't want to lock that color right now because we're drawing that color. No! Thinner than that. Uh, it doesn't even close to symmetrical either. Okay, it's a start. Fill these in and then regularize their shapes a little bit. Get rid of weird little bits like that. Diamond has a lot to answer for, I feel like. So uh, that's okay. And I'd also like to have them be hollow. Now, I was thinking I'd like to have these go in the diagonal directions too, but that seems really darn hard to do. I just go for a single line to make to hollow these out. Oh, that one's clearly off center. Hard to have a steady hand here. I might let that extra pixel stay. But I so I was thinking also doing this in the diagonal direction too, but yeah, that's rough. You know, one thing we could also do is something more like this. Actually just draw a line. Also, it doesn't help. I can't rotate the canvas here to draw stuff more consistently at different angles. That also makes things a lot harder than they would be otherwise. Okay, and then from there we can make them more into diamonds. Again, still very approximate here, but... I'll clean these up afterwards, but we can have blobs at least vaguely approximating diamonds at first. Okay, so vaguely approximating diamonds. And then... like we did before, clean up a little bit. Should have this going a bit closer to the center there. The drawing noise in this game is not too bad. It's kind of satisfying to listen to. And it's not a negligible thing. And I, many people are probably where I've been doing lots of reverse engineering on Jetset Radio Future lately, and one thing that always bugged me about that game, as much as I like that game, and as much as the music is awesome, some of the sound design is not very good, particularly like the grinding noises are like this two set, one to two second loop that you can hear really, really clearly as they loop. It's awful. It's not really diamond though, it's more just... Mm. Body parts are falling asleep now too, which is not good. Yeah, move my arm for a second. Hold on. Restore blood flow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, not up there. You go here. Might leave that be. 
Well, that probably should still go a little bit closer to the center. Maybe not that close. Okay, and lastly, you. Let's get you cleaned up just a little bit, and that'll be it for for these things, I think. Other than just hollowing them out. Which will just be a single stroke each, I think. If I can make it straight, it's difficult angle to make it straight, and there we go. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to do is this isn't this is again kind of a compromise. I wish I could have more of like a glowy halo around this thing, but as a compromise on that, what I'll do is give each of these triangle bits here a little border of this color. This part is not too hard, at least. Come on. Well, again, it won't be perfectly even, but whatever. so hard here. It's often a mistake trying to do something in a single stroke. It can look really nice if you pull it off, but all the time just end up doing it over and over and over again and it never works. I don't think that really means much when the pixels are as big as they are in this thing anyway, so it's probably silly that I'm trying. them done. We're getting into the habit here. My arms are also falling asleep again, but that's fine. I don't need blood flow. Two more. Alright. I'm at least glad I came up with an idea for this thing. I'll explain what it is in a second. In fact, I probably should now. Um, while I wimp out and get my arm a second to get blood again. So the idea here, not it's, a fa it's not a fantastic rendition, but the idea was to use the sun for Viva Pinata, um, since it been, hasn't been too long since I've played some of the Viva Pinata games. I had a hard time getting footage, though, with shot with a shot of the Viva Pinata sun. I ended up looking at the opening sequence of Viva Pinata Party Animals, which is basically the, the opening sequence of the TV show. And there's one shot with Franklin surfing where you can see the sun in the background. I'm using that. But I can't make out the, the pattern very clearly on the sun, on the circle part of the sun which just make my life a little harder but it's too intricate anyways for me to draw in detail so and then it doesn't make that much of a difference so I've had to approximate it anyways and the the sun has a really bright like halo around it which I can't replicate here because I can't draw a halo on it Okay. I think I'm content with all that. A little more consistency around here. Alright. So yeah, imperfect, but 
it most gets the point across, I think. I think it's something. Yeah, 20 minutes, naturally. Okay. That'll be this episode. I realize it's just me drawing a sun, but again, this game is drawing, so <laughs> that's the idea. We'll see the sun next time.